Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to North Country. Today we are cutting down the apiary. I'm super excited for this project. So behind me, I have ribboned off a small area and I think it's about, about 50 foot by 40 foot with room to grow. Directly behind me, I've got quite a ways to go uh, before we reach the neighbor's property. The neighbor has plans of putting up a big high fence to keep out animals. So what we'll eventually do is give ourselves the room to expand back. So we're only starting with three hives this year. Obviously we hope to grow it. Um, so planning ahead, thinking ahead, we've got room to grow. Now directly in front of me, behind you guys, is gonna be Shelby's garden and we are not we are not even 30 yards behind the garden. So this is west, this is south. So they're gonna get the majority of their sunlight coming from this way and then the evening light coming from this way. So the bees are going to be able to fly from right here, right to the garden and back. Now the cabin is getting built directly that way, which is about north, northwestern. Um, and we're about, we're about 100 yards from the cabin. So that's kind of the location here we've got going on. Now eventually we plan on building a shed out here to keep all of our beekeeping supplies in so we're not having to go from the house back with all of our supplies getting dressed, all of that stuff. We will have a shed out here but until the neighbor puts up his fence and we know how far back we can go, we're not going to be building it just yet. Okay, so first thing we gotta do guys is cut this stuff down and then I will take you guys from your post here and just kinda give you a look of what we got going on. We are in a complete timber stand around us. Uh, we're basically gonna clear a little open area for the bees to exist and then I want your guys' opinions on the layout. Is that a good design? Does it need to be more open? Do I need to get more sunlight in here? Um, it's a good windbreak. There's lots and lots of trees. Our, most of our wind is gonna be coming from this direction. It comes from the south to the north, kind of a northeasterly. Um, so a very good wind break. They're not gonna get direct wind. So that should help with the cold in this area. We are in North Idaho. We have very cold climate. The wind is not the worst, um, but we do get very cold temperatures. So I am also thinking ahead to winter time. You know, what am I supposed to do or what what can I do now to help keep my bees alive throughout the winter time? So it's time to get started cutting this stuff down, guys. If you have any suggestions um, about the apiary, about the design, about the location, what I might be missing, put it in the comments below. Gonna need your guys' help on this stuff. Let's get started. First tree spun on me went the wrong way.
have it. We have got it cleared. For the most part, I got three more trees I gotta cut. We'll save it for tomorrow. I'm beat. It's been a long day. We've been cutting a bunch of other stuff. So today has been a lot of cutting and then clearing this thing out. Tons of work. Feel good for the day. On top of just cutting down the apiary, we also have a pretty good stack of firewood going over here. We've kind of got this whole system going uh, in many different places on the farm right now because we are clearing for a big garden as well as a cabin uh, building site. So we've got a lot of clearing work going on. All right, so as you can see just over my right shoulder, uh, I left a tree standing and I thought maybe, you know, it couldn't hurt to have a tree in the apiary. You know, I figured if the bees ever do swarm, you know, maybe we'd get lucky and they'd go right to that tree. That could be wishful thinking 100% uh, on my part. There are a lot of trees around here, so I'm hoping that if we do catch a swarm or if we do get a swarm uh, from our hives, hopefully we can catch it right away and hopefully it's not too close. We'll be checking on the hives often, so we should be able to catch it pretty quick, I'm hoping. All right, so I will take you guys uh, off the mount right now and then spin you around and just give you a, a good idea of where we're at on the farm, what it looks like everywhere, and then you guys can tell me, do I need to cut a little bit more? Uh, what I might need to do, but basically this is the idea. Now you can see a bunch of stumps back there. Those still need to get taken out. We plan to rent some equipment here in the coming weeks, although we are 13 days away from bees. So as long as uh, it, so as long as it doesn't rain, as long as the weather is good, uh, we will get our bees on time. If not, they will postpone getting us our bees because they're not going to bring all the bees out into uh, the rain. All right, so let's take you guys for a walk and kind of show you around. Okay, so we're kind of standing right in the middle. I think our first placement of bees are going to be right over here, facing the south. So this direction over here is, that's about directly south right there. Yeah, right there-ish. So that is west, this way. And directly beyond that, um, that entire wall of trees right there, that is the garden. The garden will be going in there. So the bees from the south, getting the south sun, should wake up, go out, right to the garden. So my plan is to have my beehives one, two, and three. But I'm wondering if I should do four, five, six. So then when they come straight out if they come straight out from here they go right to the garden does that work out so you guys tell me in the comments is location one the right location or is location two the right location with that being south either way they're gonna get Sun right at the front door but with all three one two three they come right out of their hives, right to the garden, and right back. Versus having to come out of their hives and then turn and go. So you guys tell me which way is the best. Alright guys, well that is our apiary getting cleared out. This is the beginning of the bee hive series. Uh, you guys are going to see all of our bees, the entire saga from this point on. So this is the first video. So you guys let me know what you think. If you've got any suggestions, please put them in the comments. We appreciate it, and we will catch you guys on the next one.